Mic checking, mic checking. Can y'all hear me? What is going on, you guys? This is Chris with Patch Boy Dar, Patches for the Culture. In today's video, we are going to be getting the Etsy order ready on the Brother Persona, also known as the Brother PRS 100. Without further delay, let's get into making this patch. First things first, let's go ahead and get the screen set up. I'm going to hit that button right there. Well, it actually isn't a button, but you just tap the screen. You know what I'm trying to say. Embroidery unit will move. Okay. So I already got the design set up. I'm going to hit OK so I can recall that design. And for this patch, we are going to be doing this Beyonce design, as you guys can see right there. Super simple design. It's only two colors. Uh, it's going to, we're going to be using a silver and a black. So we're going to be using this silver right here. This is the Sulky 1011 for any of you guys want to know what silver this is. And of course, we got our standard Madeira 1000, which that's the go-to black that I use. I don't have the hoop set up just yet, so I gotta get the fabric. I wanted to show you guys how easy the hooping system is as compared to the Brother SE625. So in regards to hooping, I'm gonna use my handy dandy Gundam mouse pad so you guys can see what's going on. So I got the hoop frame right here. You guys can see. Um, or what I do, I just set it on down. Then I take my stabilizer. For my stabilizer, uh, I don't have the, I'm not using my usual uh, cutaway stabilizer from um, All Stitch, but right now I am using, for this one, I did get uh, eight yards of this cutaway plus stabilizer from uh, Sulky. I ordered this on Amazon. I also got my black duck canvas, or also known as black duck cloth. This particular duck cloth, I can only really find it at uh, Joann's. I tried ordering some online from uh, Amazon and it just, wasn't quite the same. Uh, it didn't have that same uh, firmness that I like. I got my black duck cloth. I got my cutaway stabilizer. I'm gonna go ahead and overlap these two right here, like so, if you guys can see. And then I'm gonna set it on top of this hoop. And now what you do is you take your, uh, your bigger hoop that clips into the machine itself. And then you come right on through like here, like this. Let me get you guys closer. So as I said before, so, so there's the hoop frame there. I put my cutaway stabilizer and duck canvas on top. And then I come over here with this piece here, find that center and push it on down and it should line up. Oh, come on. And it should come together nice and easy. Just like that. You can see it's on there now. Nice tight form fitting. Uh, if it ever feels a little bit loose, I can always come through. What I do is like, I'll just come through and like pull this hoop up a little bit more, like push it up as far as it can go. And I can also come in here and like adjust the tensioning screw right there. But it's pretty solid. Yep, it's on there. So now let's put this on the machine. All right, so back at the machine, there are these like little grooves. Uh, let me get the camera to focus. So you see there's like these little indentations. There's also a little hole on this side. Um, there's also like a hole on this side and a little indentation here. There are these little tabs right here that the uh, frame will slide underneath in. So let's go ahead and show you guys. And it's one on both sides, so it goes underneath there. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. And I'm going to push it in until that little notch goes in right there. It also snapped in over here on this side as well. And now that my hoop is all set and in place, the next thing to do will be to have the gray thread come through the machine uh, down through the needle. Currently, I got the black thread in there, so I already pre-tied off the silver thread, so I, now all I gotta do is just pull this excess black thread through and it will automatically feed the rest of the machine. All right, so I'm slowly pulling that black thread through and you can see the gray thread is coming along with it. It just went through that uh, tension plate right, right here. And now it's gonna work its way down the shafts and hip and it's gonna just keep working its way down through all the lip different levers and stuff, and you will see it coming through. There it is. It's gonna keep coming down, and it's gonna keep coming down all the way to that point. All right, so I have my silver thread here, as you guys can see. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is um, I'm going to go up to the screen. Well, not the screen, but I'm going up to the control board here. I'm going to press this thread button right there. So when I press that button, the th automatic threading mechanism will come down, as you will see right here. Bam, there it is. There's the automatic uh, threading mechanism. So now what I must do here is, uh, there are these little 
two little, I would say two little forks that kind of come out of there. These like two little pieces here. Um, you need to have the thread come underneath it like that. So that's usually how I have it set up. And then I come up here and I will trim the uh, excess thread like that. And once that's done, I will come back to the control panel here and I'll press that thread button again and it will pull the thread through the eye of the needle. There we go. As you can see, the thread has been pulled through the eye of the needle. Make sure to double check. Yep, it's through there. All right, now that that's complete, all I need to do next is hit the lock button over here on the screen. This button will turn green and start and be flashing green. I'll hit that button and now the machine is going to start stitching it out. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. Yeah, buddy. So this design at 600 stitches per minute will take 20 minutes. It's going to do 12 minutes of the silver. So this is the Brother Persona, the PRS 100. It does have um, four spool stands. Uh, even though it's a single needle, it has those four spool stands, so that way you can line up your next colors. As you can see, I got the uh, black thread lined up, ready to go next. So let's just take a look at this thing. Yeah. I may end up having to change the bobbin. I don't know how much bobbin thread is left in there from the last time I was using the machine. Let's take a look at the screen menu here. So we're doing this Beyonce Queen Bee design. I think I have this file available for purchase on the Etsy shop. I will have to double check. Uh, so if you guys want to purchase this file, it should be available on the Etsy shop. The file itself turns out really nice. You don't have to use that cool gray. If you want to use like a metallic gold or just like a yellow or any other, like a pink, whatever color you want to use, the design will still turn out flawlessly and will look super dope. The design itself is going to be 3.27 inches by 3.03 .03 inches. A pretty decent size for a patch. The frame I'm using is A. This is for the larger frame. So this fits uh, the, the A frame, holds the uh, 4x4 hoop, and it also holds the 8x8 hoop. To adjust it to the 8x8 hoop, what you have to do you have to come in and unscrew that knob there and you have to loosen up this knob here and you have to slide the frame down to like that very first hole right there. I've only used the 8x8 frame once and it was to embroider directly onto a tote and that embroidery turned out super nice. It was a tote for Kalisha's mom. It was a custom tote at that. If you guys like this type of content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out our Etsy shop where you can pick up some dope patches or you can pick yourself up a custom handmade tote and have your name either embroidered or heat pressed directly to the tote. Let's get back to this video. Look at this machine work, y'all. Look at it work. Look at it put in the work. I'm just trying to give you guys some different angles so you can see this machine in action. The machine itself is relatively small. It doesn't take up too much space. I mean, it does take up almost half of this like little craft table that I got from Walmart. But yeah, it's not bad at all. And it's not super heavy, but I was able to get it into our condo relatively easily. You know what I might have to do? I might have to like use my Cricut machine and get like some vinyl that's that same blue color and add some uh, extra graphics under this thing. Maybe cover up. Uh, the Brother logo, put like a cool dope logo on there. The guy at the um, Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum Store, he told me that they weren't planning on having any more of this particular model. This uh, Brother is coming out with a new version of the Persona. But I wanted to make sure that I got my hands on this one because I, as I said before, I do love that blue colorway. It matches my new Juki machine that I got. Let me go ahead and grab that silver thread, pull it through here. I like to keep my finger down, putting like a, a good 90 degree angle onto the thread. Uh, let me change hands so you guys can see. And I'll just pull that thread on through. Here it comes. 
There it is, and right there. So there's my black thread right here. So I got the black thread in my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on this little tab here, like that, or trim it. Actually, I don't need to trim it there. Let's see, what did I just do? So what I'll do is I'll just give it a little snip right there, and I still got that excess black. And now over here on our control panel, just like before, we're gonna hit this thread button. It's gonna show us our little automatic threading feature. It's gonna show the automatic uh, threading mechanism right down there. Let's go ahead and get that threaded through properly, like so. And then I'm gonna hit the thread button. Oh, I didn't do it right that time, y'all. I didn't do it right. I tried to skip a step. So let's redo it. This is all part of the game, y'all. It's all part of the game. You try to skip steps and end up messing something up. So let's redo it. Let's get it under there like that. Like that, and then like that. Bam, there we go. It's threaded. Now let's go ahead and hit that lock button and get this design finished up. Let's get you guys zoomed in. I know you guys want to see that better. Okay, it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna go ahead and take the speed up a little bit. I'll take it to 500. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'm always like cautious and weary of having my machine go too fast. Uh, maybe just like my own fear of like the machine messing up and while it's going super fast, it causes more damage to the machine. Uh, I usually like to keep it at 400. Uh, I'll take it up to 500. Uh, I might even go as far as take it up to 600, but I will not take it past that 600 mark. And maybe that's just like a fear I need to get over, but for now I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna stay paranoid and keep it at these lower speeds. I already know some of y'all are gonna say, gonna say, but Chris, time is money. You need to take the speed up to have it get done faster, but I don't mind taking, taking it a little bit slower just to make sure the longevity of the machine. And if there was any error to occur, I would be able to stop it faster to where it won't cause uh, too much damage due to that high speed. Design is looking nice. It's coming out perfectly. Once again, this is the design right here. It's a Beyonce, the, uh, Beyonce design. And right now it's just doing, it's finishing up with the black. There were only two colors. I believe this file should be available on our, on our Etsy shop. So if any of you guys wanted to purchase this file and stitch it onto something. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. So that way you guys are alerted whenever we upload any new content, whether it be a short or whether it be a long video such as this one. So right now it is doing the, uh, the final satin stitch border around the patch. I always add that satin stitch border. It just gives patches a nice crisp edge. And if you guys aren't giving your patches satin stitch borders, I don't know what you're doing. I also probably need to pick up some, um, some of that condensed air so I can spray out any dust or lint that might be built up down in the bobbin housing and also through like the canals of the machine. Because when it comes to machines, guys, you definitely want to make sure you're keeping up with your maintenance. Um, even if it's just like the standard rec recommended maintenance, whether it's anything from like getting your condensed air and like spraying out some of these components of the machine, uh, going down into the bobbin housing. So that way you can spray out any extra lint or dust that might be down in your bobbin housing. 
You also want to make sure you're applying uh, one drop of oil um, after every couple of embroidery jobs. So that way your machine can stay functioning properly. And you also want to make sure you're applying the uh, one drop of oil to all the recommended parts in the machine that comes in the manual. And for me, I keep the manual right down here. So that way it's always in right in reach. I ain't got to dig through anything to try to find the manual. I am going to go back through the manual and get like some little sticky tabs. Uh, so that way I can find things easier. But yep, so I just keep my manual right there underneath the machine, ready to go. All right, you guys heard the chime. Well, I hope you heard the chime, but that means the patch is finished and ready to come off the hoop. You guys wanna check out this finished product here. There it is, the finished product. This design is available on the Etsy shop. If any of you guys wanna purchase this uh, Beyonce design, it is available. You can throw it on your hoodie. You can throw it on your sweater. You can throw it on your polo shirt. Or you could just make a patch and sew that patch on whatever you want to uh, stitch it onto. You could even embroider it directly onto your custom denim jacket. Whatever you need, because it is designed uh, to be stitched out as a patch. So you do want to stitch it out onto a heavier type of fabric, such as duck canvas or uh, some denim. So this is going to wrap it up for this video. This has been Chris with Patch Boy Darb. Patches for the culture. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. We will see you on the next video. Peace.